Here in Bodmin, Robert Hartnell 1985 Limited is one of the town's major commercial companies, currently employing over 200 skilled people. Books and Robert Hartnell are synonymous. Today, the company is one of the country's leading bookbinders, serving both publishers and printers throughout the United Kingdom and overseas. The range of book bindings and the volume of titles produced are certainly very impressive. The range and variety of styles emphasizes that Hartnell's binding resources are extensive. The volume of titles produced each year is remarkable too. Together with unsewn case binding, the company can produce over 250,000 books each week. In February 1985, the company joined Martin's Printing Group, one of the country's largest and fully independent family-owned printers. Under the guidance of Mr John Quinney, the company has carried out a major reinvestment programme designed to meet not only today's needs, but tomorrow's as well. Producing this large volume of books to a high standard calls for efficient planning. The company's visual display boards are being replaced by the Optimus View Data System, which is now the centre of production control. The progress of jobs is amended every 15 minutes, ensuring that management can provide you with up-to-the-minute and, more importantly, accurate information. Many customers also take advantage of the company's advanced planning ability by reserving capacity for their important titles. Let's take three typical examples and follow them through the production processes. Publishers send work to Robert Hartnell in many different forms. Printed sheets, of course, go straight to the bindery. But when complete artwork and paged film is supplied, both negative and positive film is accepted, the sheets can be printed here as well. Yes, the company provides the complete service. Unsewn, limp or perfect bound book, as some prefer to call this style, was a recent production. The sheets were brought to Bodmin from the company's London redistribution centre, and on arrival, the pallets were checked and details loaded into the Optimus view data system. The draft schedule was then confirmed to the customer. The first stage of production is folding. The company has a comprehensive range of folders that meet all the recognised imposition schemes. Camco knife folders handle the thinnest and difficult papers, whilst the style buckle folders, each manned by a single operator, have horizontal stackers keeping costs to a minimum and ensure that all sections are evenly compressed prior to gathering. Next, the sections are gathered and bound on the Muller unsewn monoblock line. This lettuce machine, installed as part of the company's massive reinvestment programme, ensures that books are rapidly bound, meeting the ever-increasing demands by publishers. This machine allows Hartnells to bind spines from 3 to 60 millimetres. Once bound, the books are trimmed and packed, ready for loading into the company's fleet of new juggernaut vehicles for national distribution. When books are to be case-bound, sheets are printed and folded before gathering. Here, one of the company's three gathering lines can be seen collating sections. This Muller line can gather up to 26 sections in one operation, essential for books with large extents. Production of case-bound books differs from this stage onwards. The gathered sections are first sewn. Here is one of the company's two new Muller 3210 sewers. The sizes for each job are keyed in, telling the machine to reset the gauges and controls to meet the details for this book. These sewers are very fast, sewing at 9,000 sections an hour. Together with other automatic sewers, many different formats, notably large landscape books, can be sewn. When all the sections have been sewn, they form a book block which is then ready for casing in. While this operation is taking place, cases for the books are being made. First, the boards are cut and the material chosen by the customer loaded onto the case-making machine. This glues the board to the cloth, creating a case. These are then blocked on the spine and front before going forward to the binding line. Hartnells have two case binding lines, a 40 line, and here the most recent acquisition, the Colbus Compact line. It is the country's first fully automated line which takes book blocks through to jacketing. First, the details are keyed into the machine's memory. Then it automatically resets all the clamps, gauges and stops. Fine tuning can be made by hand as and when necessary. All this takes only a few minutes 
and demonstrates how technology has helped bookbinding reduce costs and increase production output. The cases are now loaded onto the line, head and tail bands set, and book blocks loaded into the feeder. Now the line is ready to start binding. Once running, the line binds books at a steady rate of 42 a minute. First they're nipped, end papered, Hot melt lined with an expandable lining. And three knife trim. Books go through this heated tunnel, which enables a higher standard of rounding and backing to be achieved. First and second bindings are attached, then the head and tail bands before the book is glued into its case. High rates of production are ensured by the use of an inline jacketing machine. This produces a consistently high standard throughout the entire number of books to be bound. Copies are then packed, ready for delivery to your warehouse. Books that require gilding, coloured edges or ribbon markers can be taken off the line at this stage, an important feature, again ensuring maximum production is maintained. These special operations are carried out in the company's craft bindery. Robert Hartnell has earned its good reputation over many years. Books bound here are sent to all parts of the world, the craft bindery will bind a single special edition and yet is flexible enough to produce 10,000 copies. This is a fine example of a quality binding for export. Only the finest materials are used, starting with the selection of skins. Let's look at how the cases are made up. Hartnells have a full range of skins, including calf, goat, sheep and buffalo, which meet the wide range of specifications demanded. Careful cutting ensures that the maximum number of good cases can be made economically. The cases for this book are made by hand, ready for the books to be cased into. Meanwhile, the book blocks are gilded. The Ochsner Keller gilding machine is one of the finest available. The edges are first sanded, then a thin layer of gold applied by heat. Round corners can also be gilded too. Then the books are cased in and finally individually checked, ensuring that every copy is perfect. That is just one typical example, but there are many other styles of binding carried out here. Here a book is being thumb indexed, a methodical hand process, but the result makes the reference book much easier to use. Tabs are reinforced, making the index much more durable. These are important when the book is to be used frequently, as in public libraries. At first sight, this looks like a lady's handbag, but in fact it's a small Bible.
Here, a zip is being sewn onto the case. This is another example of the company's varied expertise. All traditional binding styles can be produced. Here, raised bands are being blocked. The result will be cherished forever by its eventual owner. In fact, our craftsmen will turn their hands to producing a wide range of quality products. Here's a review of the extensive range. Thumb indexing, gilt edges, coloured edges, art gilt edges, books bound with zips or with clasps, philatelic albums and books with leather lined ends. All types of hand tooling are carried out and a variety of blocking is also undertaken. Robert Hartnell are experts at binding books. No order is too small or too large. Small formats to large landscape productions are easily produced and, as you've just seen, the company is now equipped with the latest labour-saving machines. Everyone at Robert Hartnell's are proud to be in the bookbinding business, believing that they can meet all your requirements.